Hey, welcome back. If you're an F-Class shooter, a PRS shooter, a Bentress competitor, a traditional high power shooter, a service rifle shooter, a varmint hunter, a long range hunter, or someone interested in rifle accuracy beyond point blank range, you've probably figured out by now all by yourself that no matter how precise your rifle system is, your accuracy is limited by your ability to read the wind and correct for it. Learning to read the wind is a very long-term project, or at least it was up until now. Learning to figure out what this is worth, or this is worth, or this, or this, or this, or this, took years and years of experience and tens of thousands of rounds to figure out. It was a matter of reading that condition, making a decision, sending around, seeing where it landed, lather, rinse, and repeat tens of thousands of times, sending endless dollars into the berm because learning is a change in behavior as a result of experience and experience is cumulative. So over time, you'll get better, but that takes a lot of components, a lot of barrels worn out, a lot of driving back and forth to the range if you're in a place like me. This is what I call a non-permissive environment. There's farmland right over there and I can't shoot there by county ordinance. Let me introduce you to a new piece of technology that I got recently that is helping me to get better at my wind call. This is the Wind Zero system. Out of transparency, this is made and sold by one of my teammates on Team Rolling Coal. This was given to me, but I have not received any payment for making a review, and I do not have any financial interest in the sales of this product whatsoever. Just to be clear, with that out of the way, I don't like doing product reviews. You know that but I'm making an exception here. Not because Doug's a friend, but because I believe in this product and I'm using it myself. So let me explain how I'm using the product and why I'm using it that way. In order to understand, I'm gonna to have to tell you a little bit about the product. This product is a simple, if you can call it simple, ultrasonic wind sensor. It reads both speed and direction of the wind in real time. The resolution is one tenth of a mile an hour for speed and one degree for angle direction. It then transmits that information to this base station up to a mile away, which transmits it via Bluetooth to a mobile device, which uses an app to calculate crosswind component from those inputs. In other words, it outputs your wind call in real time on a tablet screen. Now for me, that's great. You could actually use it while shooting if you wanted to, although I don't think it's legal during F-Class matches but during PRS matches it is. And Doug has created a function in the version four of the software that actually does multiple targets with multiple wind drift values simultaneously. So you can set it up to do multiple targets. Really cool feature. The one I wanna focus on because I'm an F-Class coach is reading the wind for wind calls for F-Class. So I use this other screen, which shows me the simple direct crosswind correction. Now I've got a set for minutes of angle for my rifle right now, 0.54 minutes of angle per mile per hour of crosswind. So it just gives me a direct readout of the minutes of angle. From that information, I can assess whether my wind call was any good or not without having to fire a shot. The better part is in a non-permissive environment like I live in right here, well, I can go out anytime because all I have is a spotting scope and a weather station and nothing else. I can do this any place, whether guns are allowed or not. And trust me, it's demoralizing around here. The only place you can actually shoot is on a licensed rifle range. And all of those are tree-lined, so the air tumbles into them when you have a crosswind and doesn't give you full, valid crosswinds. Similarly, if you have a quartering tailwind or headwind, it turns into just a head or tailwind as the trees straighten the wind out for you. It makes for great load development, but isn't so good for learning how to read the wind. But being able to go out to these open flat lands around here and set this up, watch the wind, and read it off of the tablet at the same time, that's money. That's how you get better. You can do the equivalent of 20 to 50 shots in pretty rapid succession in 30 to 40 minutes, and then turn around, go home, and do it again the next day. The best part is I don't have to reload to do it. I don't have to clean rifles to do it. I don't wear out any barrels. And I certainly don't have to go to an established range, which is a 60 mile each way trip, an hour and a half in Seattle traffic. 
which is not a lot of fun sometimes. So this is benefiting me greatly financially, just not having to go anywhere to touch up my wind reading skills. And you're probably asking yourself, but how effective is it? Well, this particular technology has been used by Team Rolling Coal members for some time under a different name as it was being developed. Go look at the national championships results. You tell me. The other thing about this that is really neat if you're using it on a range is you can run up to three sensors on one base station and read them all simultaneously. So you can start to learn how to see the differences in wind along the distance of the range when the flags look like this. So you can learn how to evaluate that appropriately. Now that's not a dry fire kind of thing, but during live fire, it gives you more information. So you can learn from your practice sessions a little more, a little better, and start to understand what's important and what's not. Last but not least, this will teach you how to do trend analysis on the wind. Now, trend analysis is one of those things that we talk about in kind of vague terms. We talk about the wind cycle, about the wave pattern, about other things. Here's what we're doing. We're looking at how the wind changes in both speed and direction over time and timing to see how long it stays in each condition and which condition is the most stable. That information is used to decide when to shoot, especially during string fire in F class. If you can shoot during the most stable condition, you're going to have a higher score than you would if you're in something that's a little spacey or flaky. This can teach you how to identify what is spacey and flaky and what's stable from your other senses because it's tracking the wind speed and wind direction over time and showing it graphically on the screen for you. There's a lot of things to wind reading that you can learn from simply guessing what the wind is and then looking to see what it actually is in real time, where you're looking instead of right next to you because the wind at the firing line is never the average wind going down range. As few products as I endorse, I endorse this one. This one is a game changer for me and for everyone that's had them in their hand. And that's all there is to it for this one. Until next time, shoot straight. Think about how you're going to learn to read the wind effectively. I'll see you in the next video.